Hello Gemini, welcome back to the Spirit's Path. This is Dee, and this is your December horoscope for 2022. And just to recap, this is the year of the ancestor. So everybody's walking to their universal beat, listening to, you know, whatever spirit has for them. You know what that beat is, Gemini. You've been listening to it all year. And, uh, you know, you, you committed yourself back in January to walk through, you know, these birch trees, to walk through and um, enjoy you know, whatever this path had for you in 2021. And it's been a good path for you. You know, there's been a little bit of some frustration, some struggle, but you know, also, you know, a lot of fulfillment, and a lot of decisions being made, okay? Um, last month in November, it was represented by the Ace of Vessels, a new opportunity for emotional strength, a new opportunity for uh, understanding your emotions, okay? And just, you know, the waters of life that, you know, got you going. Maybe you reconnected with water, all right? And, uh, you know, the month before that in uh, October was creativity. So maybe your creativity led you to an opportunity to have, you know, more emotional fortitude, more emotional strength with what was going on. So let's see what 2022 has for you, Gemini. Or December. Let's see what December has for you in 2021. And the theme for you this month will be the Forest Lovers. Okay, now this is a life lessons card. The Forest Lovers is, is about uh, karmic reunion, uh, reconnecting with your soul partner, reconnecting possibly with uh, a loved one, Gemini, um, reconnecting with with who you are in your relationship with this other person. All right. Um, that is the theme for this month. So uh, everything that's going to revolve around in December is going to be an opportunity to reconnect with the one that you love. Okay. To show, show them, you know, what is going on to show them what, you know, how you feel about them. All right. Because, you know, if you look, you know, the wrists are bound, right? You've made that commitment to this person, okay? You're, each of you are pledging with their hand on their heart to each other. And this is an opportunity for you, Gemini, to, you know, maybe take that love to the next level. Maybe, you know, things haven't been going well for you. You know, open yourself up. You're gonna have to do that. You're gonna have to get out of your head and talk about your emotions, all right? You're gonna have to use all the elements, all right? Um, like I said, get out of your head and you know talk about those emotions but at the same time okay um being grounded using the element of earth to, to ground you just like that tree is is grounded in the earth okay um you want to be grounded in that conversation of expressing your love okay you want to think about it with the air you want to be creative about it okay in how you communicate that right because you're a good communicator. You just have to realize, you know, you have to go through and make that, that decision, right? You have to strengthen that bond that you have with that other person, Gemini. All right, so let's see how the rest of the, rest of the month holds out for you. That first week of December is going to be represented for you, Gemini. By the green woman okay so another life lessons card now as you're walking down this path okay if you're the journeyer all right you meet you meet the seer and the seeress those are the first you know first two cards you meet then you come across the green woman now the green woman and the green man are are one in the same okay the difference is is in their uh, gender archetype okay they both want to nurture you they both want you to have uh, the you know a, a fulfilling experience as you're going through um, the wildwood forest okay once you get past you know the green woman and the green man the ancestor reminds you which you know is the card of the year you know to listen to your own beat okay and card number six you know, you come across the forest lovers. Now the forest lovers is, is, 
is you know finding that karmic love finding that um that love that's out there that you know somebody you can walk hand in hand with on the trail this first week of december represented by the green woman she wants to nurture that love she wants to nurture that hand in hand process she wants to nurture that relationship all right by giving you the milk to drink okay she, you know by by allowing you to be sustained in that relationship to be fulfilled okay and understand that you know if you're fulfilled in the relationship and you're fulfilling somebody else that that's how that that connection deepens that's how that connection strengthens in being with the forest lovers all right gemini let's see what the second week holds for you that's a great card to stop you know to start out with that, that green woman the next card is the king of arrows and the kingfisher now kings are all about um ruling the kingdom all right, now this King of Arrows is also about uh, in intellect. It's an air sign, um, communication, all right? And he he's able to, you know, dive deep into the water. He's both at home in the water as well as um, in the air. And what the King does is he's going to ask you during the second week of December, what must you focus on clearly? What must you focus on clearly in December to be nurtured, to be fulfilled, to understand what it takes to nurture and fulfill that forest lover in your life? Okay. And if you get to a, if you get to a point within that concept, okay, of focusing, focusing on clearly on what you need to do, he, the king also asks you, who can give you that good advice? Who can give you that good advice of understanding that other person? The king wants you to think. Okay, maybe that's, you know, he wants you, you know, to you know, get that good advice from spirit. Maybe it's a, you know, a counselor. Maybe it's a minister, a pastor. Okay. But again, this king is good at both air and water energy okay and with a green woman giving you the nurturing advice the king you know pretty much just wants you to you know focus clearly on what you need to focus on to strengthen that relationship you have with your with your forest lovers with that you know relationship that you have in your life you know whether that's a you know a spouse a girlfriend uh, this could be children all right it could be a work relationship as well yeah, I think this is more has to do with your significant other. But let's see what that third week has for you, Gemini. <laughs> Leading into the Christmas week. That third week, I don't, I don't want one card. Is represented by the journey. So you've got two life lessons cards here with the life lesson card as a theme. Okay, now the journey, to me, the journey doesn't end, okay? This is normally, um, you know, when you think about this card, it's kind of like the death card in a normal tarot deck, okay? And death card is all about new life, rebirth, new opportunities, okay? And that's what I like about this journey card as well, okay? Here you have an opportunity to... How do I want to say this? You know, if something is dead, you have that opportunity to revitalize it. Okay. Look at the, you know, the raven is picking up, you know, some of the sinews and the meat that's still left on the bones of that elk. Even though the elk died under whatever circumstances, okay, the ecosystem continues to thrive. Okay. And that's what this card is telling you. This card is telling you that you can continue to thrive in that relationship that you have with the forest lovers. You can continue to move forward okay and being fulfilled and being satisfied okay to being you know understanding okay with what's going on but it takes two okay you can revitalize that relationship if it's bad okay but you most focus on it clearly okay and you have to t you know find out who can give you that good advice on how to you know uh being more fulfilled with this and sometimes you know what just having that conversation with that person 
you know, hey, what can I do, you know, better in our relationship? How can I, you know, improve our communication? Okay. Is there, you know, is there something that you're looking from me that I'm not providing? Yeah. Right? You ask those questions. Yeah. Okay? That helps revitalize that communication. That helps revitalize that relationship because the other person looks at it and says, so-and-so is trying. They want us to move forward. Okay? And, you know, maybe there's an opportunity to revitalize that spark during this Christmas time. You know, that new hope, that new life. Right? So let's see what happens during that Christmas week for you, Gemini. Christmas week's gonna be represented by the Page of Arrows in the rend. And pages are messengers, so going into 2022, you'll look for a message. Um, this could be a spiritual message, it could be uh, a verbal message, seeing how it's arrows, it's it's communication, right? Um, what does Page of Arrows, does Ren ask is, you know, what do you need to learn to overcome? What do you need to, you know, maybe you are getting yourself, you know, maybe you are in your own way. And that's what you have to overcome during this month of December with us forest lovers. Okay. You revitalize, you're, you know, this is not an end all to be all. You have to continue to work during this life lessons card. It just doesn't stop once this card comes up. It's something you're going to have to work for as you're moving forward, Gemini. And if you want to strengthen a relationship, okay, you have to learn to overcome some things. And maybe you're stepping in your own way, okay? Maybe, you know, if you have that communication with that significant other, they can tell you what you need to do to overcome you know, some of those limitations that you have, okay? Maybe some of the weaknesses, you know, that are not strengthening the relationship. And then the other thing that this, this Ren asks is, you know, what is the mystery of the matter? Listen to the message that the Ren has. And if you've got Wrens outside during winter or, or summer, you know, talk to them. You know, listen to what they have to say. They'll give you the answers. And remember, you've got the Queen of Arrow, uh, King of Arrows still sitting here, this Kingfisher. Okay, and he's, you know, he's saying what most you focus on clearly. If you can get the answers that you're looking for to revitalize the soul connection, to revitalize the spiritual connection with this loved one during his forest lovers, this, this Wren is going to say, you know what, you're going to unfold that mystery. The mystery that's been holding you back from moving forward. The mystery that's been, you know, kind of consuming you to, you know, not communicate clearly. Okay? The green woman wants you to succeed. You know, she wants to nurture you. Um, you know, you do want to revitalize with the journey. So, you know, listen to what the Ren has for you, Gemini. And understand, understand, you know, the messages that it's bringing. You know, where do you need to, you know, overcome? You know, what do you need to learn to overcome and what is the mystery of the matter and when you do that and you communicate those with your significant other in the month of December you know you're going to feel like you're you know you've revitalized that, that relationship so there you have it Gemini forest lovers is your message for the month of December hit that like button for me subscribe to the channel and share it with others and this is D for the Spirits Path. We'll talk to you in 2022. I have those uh, videos coming out here in the next couple weeks. And uh, take care. God bless. And stay safe, everybody.